Hey, how is everyone doing today? Um, I'm doing a special, I'm going to do a special reading today. Um, this is actually, this story is from my second favorite Disney movie, Oliver and Company. Um, since it's my birthday today, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do a special story. Um, one of my favorites. Alright, so we are going to do... Oliver and Company today. All right, let's get started. Once upon a time in the great big city of New York, a little kitten lived on the busy streets. He was looking for a home. He met a street smart dog named Dodger who wanted his help getting sausages from a food cart. The hungry kitten did his part, but Dodger tricked him and ran off with, with their milk. Disappointed and hungry, the kitten followed Dodger to a broken down barge on the river. There he saw Dodger's gang, Tito the Chihuahua, Francis the Bulldog, Einstein the Great Dane, and a lovely hound named Rita. Dodger, Dodger was busy acting out the day's events and showing off the sausages that they were about to have for dinner. Suddenly there was a loud crash. The little kitten had fallen right through the roof. The gang laughed and welcomed the kitten to their home. Soon their master, Fagin, walked in the door. Fagin wanted to see what his pals had collected that day. There was nothing but junk in the box. A car horn sounded and made Fagin jump. Yikes! It's Skikes! It's Yikes! It's Sykes! Fagin said worriedly. Fagin owed Sykes money and did not have a way to, re to repay him. And Sykes was awfully mean. While Fagin begged for more time, Sykes Dobermans came aboard the barge and began pushing everybody around. When they tried to corner the kitten, he reached out and scratched one of the Dobermans on the nose. Fagin and his gang were very impressed with the kitten's bravery and decided to make him one of the gang. At least the kitten had a home for now. The next day, the gang went out to find money for Fagin. Tito saw a limousine and wanted to check it out. He took the kitten with him. But when Tito accidentally hit the car alarm, the gang fled, leaving the poor kitten tangled up inside. The little kitten didn't know that there was a passenger in the back seat, a little girl named Jenny. She rescued the kitten and told Winston, the driver, to take them home. She wanted to give the kitten something, something to eat. At home, Jenny's pampered poodle, Georgette, resented the little kitten. But Jenny fell in love with him and named him Oliver. She even got him a special collar and ident identification tag. Soon Dodger and the gang showed up to rescue Oliver, but Oliver didn't want to leave with his friends. He belonged with Jenny now. The gang didn't know how Oliver felt. They thought they were helping him get, get away. When they got back to Fagin's, the dogs realized they had made a mistake. Fagin saw the fancy collar in Oliver's new 5th Avenue address. And to Fagin, 5th Avenue meant lots of money. This was his way out with Sykes. He would contact the owner at 5th Avenue, tell them that he had found their cat, and ask for a reward. Then he could, then he could pay Sykes back. Fagin was shocked when Jenny showed up to get Oliver. 
He could never take money from a little girl. When Sykes drove up to get his money, he saw that Fagin was letting the little girl go. He was furious. He grabbed Jeannie and kidnapped her. I'm sure someone will pay a nice ransom for you, Sykes said as he sped away. Fagin and his gang were, de were determined to help Oliver and Georgette get Jeannie back. They hopped onto Fagin's scooter and followed the car to Sykes' warehouse. Then the dogs made their way into the warehouse where they found Jenny tied up in Sykes' office. They were just about to rescue her when Sykes and his Doberman found them. Suddenly Fagin drove his scooter into the warehouse and they all jumped on. Sykes and his dogs followed them. The chase was on. Fagin headed for the subway, sure that Sykes couldn't follow him, but he did. Fagin drove his scooter onto the subway tracks with Sykes close behind. Oliver jumped into Sykes' car to make sure Jenny was okay. He bit Sykes' hand until he let the little girl go. Just as Sykes' Doberman was about to get Oliver, the kitten jumped out through sunroof. A train was coming and Fagin managed to steer on to another track, but Sykes' car crashed into the oncoming train. Jenny didn't know what had happened to Oliver. She was terribly worried. Just then, Dodger walked up to her, carrying the little kitten by his neck. When Oliver saw Ginny, he began to purr. Ginny was overjoyed that Oliver was all right. The very next day was Ginny's birthday. She had a big party at her house. Fagin and the gang were all there. Everyone was happy, but nobody was happier than the little orphan kitty who had finally found a home. Thank you everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. I love y'all and I want to also thank y'all for all the birthday wishes. Like, I love them. Thank you. They are so awesome. Thank you everybody. Love you. Talk to y'all later.